Faker, world champion, greatest player of all time, unkillable demon king. But what is it that makes him so unkillable? Today, we're going to find out just that and learn how to avoid every gank on mid lane like a pro. This lane starts out rather ordinarily, with Faker using his range advantage on Ari to take push and crash the second wave. He then makes use of this time while Salas is under tower to place this ward. Now let's draw a line through the center of the lane, making note that Faker never again crosses towards the top side of this line. What Faker has essentially done by placing this ward is made himself a safe side of the lane. If the enemy jungler tries to gank Faker from the bot side, he will spot them on his ward and be able to run back to tower, whilst if they gank from the top side of the lane, he can retreat into bot river and to safety. In a separate clip, this exact same technique is this time used against Faker by his lane opponent, who crashes a wave and uses the opportunity to ward topside, establishing that as his safe side. Now that Syndra has a way to retreat if ganked, he can play extremely aggressively, poking Faker under tower. At this exact moment, when Kane shows on the bottom side of the lane, the distance between him and Syndra is too much, and she can simply walk out topside to safety. Had Syndra have stood in the center of the lane, Kane would have closed the gap and caught her. This is something you'll constantly find Faker doing that you can easily replicate, giving yourself a safe side with a ward and then sticking to it knowing that that's your exit route if you get ganked. In this case, the safe side is the same side as his jungler who he can retreat to if he needs help. Faker often uses his jungler's positioning to help him decide on which side of the lane to make his strong side. In this replay, his jungler starts top pathing down. Faker uses that information to ward bot side, knowing Graves will finish his clear on the bot side of the map. Later on, Graves uses this ward to go for an invade. Because Faker is already hugging the bot side of the lane, he's the first mid laner to respond. In this case, the result isn't great off of Graves' bad micro, but the fundamentals from Faker are perfect. Don't be afraid to ward level 1 before the minion spawn if you feel like you're going to get ganked in the first two waves before you can crash your wave. Generally, the only junglers who can do this are utility junglers with reliable CC early that don't need to farm much. These include champions like Jarvan, Ivern, and Nunu. Champions that you don't need to ward level 1 against are those with a very weak level 2 gank. Usually champions that need to finish a full clear and that don't have reliable crowd control early, such as Master Yi, Kane, and Diana. Okay, let's recap everything. If you're afraid of being ganked early based on the enemy jungler, be sure to ward level 1 before going to lane. Otherwise, ward as soon as your lane is pushed up or you crash a wave into tower. Once you have a ward down, be sure to hug that side of the lane at all times and be sure not to cross that line through the center of the lane that we spoke about. If you get ganked from the other side of the lane, exit through the river towards your safe side and think about warding the same side as where your jungler is or where they're heading so you can be ready to move and assist them if needed. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Check out the video description for League of Legends guides and private coaching sessions with me.